As I celebrate today, it's a blessing to be alive. This is my personal testimony, who I used to be. I'm on the corner of Venice and 12th Ave. This is where I used to live and sell drugs. I used to stand out on the corner and sell marijuana. My bedroom was right here and we would package up little baggies and actually get on the corner, on the street and sell to people that was looking for marijuana. When I started out, I was making a little bit of money when I was selling marijuana. And then I started selling cocaine and I started making more money. And then I went from um, ounces to key, to half a key to kilos, 50 to 100 to 500 kilos at a time. It was nothing for me to have like 500 kilos of cocaine in my garage, which could be street values of $10 million. My business in the drug world became so big, it earned me the name Queen Pen. I built an empire. For 12 years, I thought I had it all figured out until the day I was arrested. It was my son's sixth grade graduation, June 1993. I was on the run for 18 months and I showed up at my son's sixth grade graduation to surprise him. And as I approached these doors, the FBI came up to me very smoothly and asked me to follow them because I was wanted. And um, I can remember just turning around and walking away with them. And just a member, I saw see me get arrested here. The pain of the memories that I have to relive really from my son seeing me get arrested, I wouldn't want that to happen to any other kid. I really wouldn't. I was sitting in my cell all alone. I had two choices. One, to serve God. The other, to kill myself. I just cried out to God and I said, Lord, if you can use anything, use me. We're at Valencia Christian Center in Santa Clarita, California. I'm an evangelist. I live my life now fully for Jesus. I love it. It's, it's very exciting to uh, see someone that don't know Jesus and to minister the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ and who he is. My mission is if I can just touch one person's life that read my story to help them, to keep them from going through what I went through in life, that's my mission. And I would say mission accomplished.